And as fighting between Israeli forces and Hamas militants continues, members of the Jewish community here in Rochester are speaking out against terrorism. KIMT News 3's Max Haslow spoke with a local rabbi of a local synagogue about the reactions of the community to violence. He joins us live from the B'nai Israel Synagogue in Rochester. Max. Well, that's right, Sananda, and I'm told by the synagogue that the Jewish community around the entire world is very tight-knit. Therefore, several of the members of this congregation do have family members or do know somebody that's been directly impacted by these Hamas attacks. Now, some members of the community are comparing the uh, actions of the Hamas militants to September 11th attacks or the Pearl Harbor attacks, but others say the taking of children as hostages do make the events incomparable. Now, according to Rabbi Michelle Werner, the showing of a support from local and national public figures does show a general understanding that these attacks are not acts of war from Gaza. This is absolutely beyond anything that's imaginable. This is pure terror. It's not political and it's not religious. This is just an act of terror. Now, B'nai Israel Synagogue is a member of the Union for Reformed Judaism, and that union is working to put together fundraising opportunities for the victims of uh, the terrorist attacks. However, they do want to wait until things have settled down in the area before they do get those, uh, uh, those things going 